Hi, Craig Hartman with VFDs.com. Today we're going to learn basic programming for the Mitsubishi D700 variable frequency drives. So here's our Mitsubishi D700 series drive. The D drives are very compact and yet very powerful. They come in a wide variety of horsepowers and are very simple to program and run and are very economical. This is a 400 volt drive, so we are powering it right now with 480 volts, three phase. It's a 2.2 amp drive, so this would be suitable for a one or a one and a half horsepower 480 volt motor. We're going to be using the standard programmer that comes with the drive today. So we will first start by pushing the mode button. When we get to the mode button, the first thing we see is P. That stands for parameter. So we're going to go to parameter 19. We do that by simply turning the wheel to parameter 19. The first thing I like to program on any drive is the volts and the frequency. These need to match the motor nameplate. So we're on parameter 9. We now push set, excuse me, 19. We press set and that is set for 460 volts. Well maybe I want my motor set for 480 volts. I simply change this to 480 volts and when I get to 480 I simply press set again and it blinks to show me that I have changed that setting. Now let's go down to parameter 3. So I go down here to parameter 3 and this is my motor rated frequency. I press set, it's set for 60 hertz. This is the way it should come out of the box and that is my motor rated frequency so I'm not going to change it. Now if I go back to parameter mode, I will start with parameter 1 and let's go through the first 10 parameters. Parameter 1 is my maximum frequency. So I push set, it's set for 60.02 hertz. Maybe I'd like to allow this to go up to about 65 hertz. So I will change that to 65 and this uh, wheel makes that very convenient. I push set and I'm now programmed for a maximum frequency of 65 hertz. If I just change the wheel, I go directly to parameter 2. That is my minimum frequency. So I push set. I'm set for a minimum frequency of 12 hertz. Well, I've got a pump that I don't want to go any slower than 30 hertz, so I'll simply change this. The faster I change it, the faster it goes. And I'll get this to about 30 hertz. And then press set again and I have now programmed my minimum frequency for 30 hertz. No matter what I tell the drive to do, it will run no slower than 30 hertz. I turn the wheel again and we go to parameter 3. That was our motor rated frequency. We've already set that. Here's parameters 4, 5, and 6. Those are preset speeds. If you'd like to run the drive at certain preset speeds, you may want to set one of those. Typically, we're going to run the drive on an analog input or we're going to run through the keypad, so we won't need to set those. Now let's go to parameter 7. This is the drive acceleration time. I push set and my acceleration time is 15 seconds. Well, I'd like this small motor to accelerate in 5 seconds, so I'll change that to 5 seconds, press set, and now it will accelerate from 0 to 60 hertz in 5 seconds. My next parameter is parameter 8. That's my deceleration time. I don't want to slow down too fast, so I'm going to change my deceleration time up to about 30 hertz. So let me change this to 30 hertz. I press set again, and it will now slow down from 60 hertz to zero in 30 seconds. And finally, parameter 9 is my motor nameplate amperage. So my motor full load amps on this motor is 1.7 amps. So I will simply change that down here to 1.7 amps. And knowing that, the drive will now be able to protect my motor from overloads. So let's go ahead and run this drive. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm in the proper mode. Parameter unit allows me to run from the keypad. External allows me to run from different inputs. So if I push this, you can see that I'm in parameter unit mode, push it again, I'm in external mode, and I want to be in parameter unit mode, so I'm going to toggle that back to parameter unit mode. Then I will take this and set a frequency. I'm going to set 60 hertz. 
So I'll type, I'll move this up to 60 hertz. And when I get to 60 hertz, then I will simply press set and it will seal that in as my running speed. I now simply press run and the drive will ramp up in the programmed acceleration time to 60 hertz. So there's how you run the Mitsubishi D700 drive from the included keypad. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see our other educational videos. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions for other topics that you'd like to see. And please visit our website at vfds.com to see a wide selection of variable frequency drives and VFD accessories.